Hello, it's Spence, the evil genius from Winter Laboratory with your lab secrets tip of the day. Today, I want to show you how to supercharge the invitation process on your social network. We're going to be using two components here. The first is Cloud Sponge, and the second is the very powerful Invite Anyone plugin. The two together make it possible for you and the members of your site to invite people from outside the social network in, but automate the process. First, let me walk you through how to get this set up. First of all, if you start out over at cloudsponge.com, what you can do is sign up instantly for an account. They've got a great process here because they don't require a credit card and they give you a 30 day free trial. The service does ultimately have a price and it's currently set at $25 a month or $275 a year. It's a small price to pay to ensure that your site growth occurs as easily as possible. Of course, the Invite Anyone plugin really gives you the kind of integration that normally only comes from a custom development platform. So. Without further ado, let's get into it and show you how to get set up. First of all, if we go over here to Cloud Sponge, we're going to go ahead on the front page and we just go ahead and sign up. So let's go ahead and set up an account, show you how easy it is. And we'll call this uh, Widget Laboratory. We'll call this Evil Genius. And we'll call it Cloud Sponge at labsecrets.com. And I have no promo code, but I have read the conditions. We sign up. The beauty of it, again, is that they don't require a credit card, and you can pretty much get started right out of the box and try it for 30 days. You can add the billing details now or add them later, which I'll add later. And it's that simple. Now, this little red warning will be there until such time as you either decide that uh, you're going to pay or you put in your billing information. No big deal. First thing you do is you want to set up your website domain. And in this case, we're going to go ahead and we have a test site set up over at Lab 1076. And then the next thing is we're going to have this custom domain key, which is going to be important in a second. So let's go ahead and grab that. Now let's go over to our test site. We've set up a BuddyPress installation using the Lab Secret solution. And anyone familiar with that would be seeing our admin dashboard, as you see here. And what you do here is first thing you want to install the Invite Anyone plugin. Now the Invite Anyone plugin is available in the WordPress repository, so you can either download it to your desktop here and then upload it, or as we've done, you can go over to the Plugins tab, and it will be available inside the Plugins tab under Plugins. We've gone ahead and already installed it under the Invite Anyone and activated it. So the next step at this point is to go ahead and go up to the Buddy Press tab. Under the Buddy Press tab, you'll find the Invite Anyone configuration menu. So we're gonna start at the back end with Invite Anyone and then go ahead and integrate it with Cloud Sponge. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is grab that key that we just grabbed from Cloud Sponge and let's paste it in place. You'll notice when you come down the middle of the page that there's an icon for Cloud Sponge and you have the option here, which we've checked to enable Cloud Sponge. Here we're gonna paste in that special unique API key and then just to make sure we've got it in, I'm gonna save changes. Now, what we can do at this point is we can go ahead and set up the various configuration options for the Invite Anyone. First of all, you have the option of allowing people to invite people from their address books across a variety of sources. You also have the ability for them to invite people into groups, which is unique because in the standard body press, only the administrator can invite people into groups. This really extends the feature uh, capability of BuddyPress. In our case, many of our customers have asked if they can have groups be given out in the form of company accounts. So for example, let's say you have a situation with a social network and you want to have local businesses create their own groups. Well, what's a more natural use than to allow them to invite anyone to join from their customer list? Lots of other ideas there, but this is one of the most often asked. Of course, you can use replacement patterns for the email text fields. Next, you can go ahead and set up whether or not you want to allow members to be able to modify the subject line as well as the message body on the invites. Now, that's important because if you go over here to our test uh, site setup, you'll notice that it says by default subject line is fixed. And that means as a member, I'm not able to change this even if I click, click, click. So if on the other hand, I change this to allow subject line, save it and then refresh the page, you'll see that now I will be able to go ahead and modify the subject line. This is the choice of the administrator, which is now I can. Uh, because in some cases you want to allow people to go ahead and set whatever their subject line may be, in other cases you don't. 
we've got the number of email invitations that people are allowed to send. Now, this is important because in many cases, servers have a limit of something in the order of 30 to 40 email messages uh, per hour. If you have a high traffic network, I would encourage you to keep this number low at first because it's ripe for abuse. People don't even realize that they may be abusing it in some cases because they figured, oh, set this to 300 people, send them all out at once. Well, multiply that times any number of people on your site and you can see how quickly you're going to get yourself into some trouble with uh, blacklisting. The other options that you have here, for example, you have the ability to allow users to send group invitations. As I just indicated, in addition to invite, inviting people in to join as a member, they can also be invited to join a particular group. And lastly, you have an option here which allows people to accept an invitation even after the registration to the site may have been disabled. That's a good opportunity, for example, when you might have a private network but you want to allow members to initially propagate out invitations, it would be a bummer if people came along and couldn't get in after the hour had changed to 12, so to speak. All right, going down the list here, we've got some other options which are very powerful in the Invite Anyone. First of all, the access settings. You can allow either all users, as it's set here, to invite people, or you can limit it. In this case, you can, for example, say only a certain number uh, of days of membership will allow you to send it. For example, maybe you have to be on the site for 10 days. You can go ahead and also, by the way, you'll notice I can add these together. I can do one or the other or all of them. You can go ahead and choose to only allow people who have a certain role, starting with the base subscriber, or you can move up the chain to contributor, author, editor, or administrator. Again, that limits who can actually go ahead and use this feature. And lastly, you can also provide a specific comma delimited list of users if you want to limit who cannot send invitations. So this would be a nice way to sort of uh, blacklist anybody who has been playing naughty on your site and using the tools improperly. The rest of the people, for example, could be set up here for 10 days. All right. Next is we have the option to go ahead and limit group invitations. Here's where you can go ahead and choose again, either between anyone, friends, or no one. So for example, in this case, group members, I might say, no, nah, you guys can only invite your friends. Whereas a person who's a moderator or an admin, I trust them more, they're going to be able to invite anyone. Uh, pretty simple controls and very powerful when combined. So let's go ahead and save the changes and see how this all comes together. When I go back over to my demo site here, I am going to refresh this page. And you'll see that I have a tab under my profile. So let's start with that. Here's a link to my profile page. And let's presume I'm just an ordinary member of the site. When I go down to my member uh, tabs over here in the profile section, there's a new one called Send Invites. And that's the tab that's normally used by the Invite Anyone plugin. Now we've got a new option, however, because we're connected with Cloud Sponge. When I go here under the Add Email Addresses from Your Address Book, it goes and gives me a link. This is the powerful part about Cloud Sponge. Watch what happens when I click on it. I've got this nice control that comes up that allows me to choose an address book from any of these sources. My local Mac address book, Plaxo, AOL, Gmail, Windows Live, Hotmail, and Yahoo. I'm going to choose Yahoo. Uh, as we can see here, I can go crazy and say click on all, but remember, we had limited the members of the site to just five invites at a time. So let's click on none and let's do something a little less extravagant. I'm going to invite two or three people from my address book, click next, and then I'm going to add one more in, which is my own email, so that I can show you what it'll look like when the recipient gets the message. So let's help at labsecrets.com. And let's go ahead and send out the invite. Now, I should mention you always have the ability, like we showed you earlier, to customize the subject line or customize the message. Let's rock. Click Send Invites, and that's all there is to it. When the message has been sent, it'll give you a dialog that says invitations were sent successfully to the following uh, emails. And now you also have a list here of who the invitations were sent to. Now, this is important because it will allow you to keep track of who is accepted, as well as to manage just generally the group invitations. If we go over to the mail, I'm going to show you what it looks like on the receiving end. I've opened up my Gmail account here to show you this is what a typical invitation would look like. We open it up, and there it is. We've got, you've been invited to the uh, by Widget Laboratory to join the Lab Secret Solution community. There's my little custom Let's Rock. And all i got to do is either view the person who invited me's profile, or I can accept the invitation by clicking on the link. If I want, I can say, buzz off, and opt out of future invitations by clicking on this link here. So if I clicked on this, accepting it takes me over. I've been invited to join where I can put in my credentials and voila, it's that simple. Two features that work great together. It's Cloud Sponge, 
and it's the Invite Anyone plugin. If you're already a customer of the Lab Secret Solution, we've got you pre-configured with Invite Anyone and Cloud Sponge, and we welcome you to come on over and give it a try. This is Spence, the evil genius from Wedge Laboratory.